Hey guys, it's Carla. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm painting a cow. Um, now this video is pretty short, so that, that kind of tells you how simple it is. And if you want the outline for it, just look in the description below. Or if you want to practice your freehand, you can just sketch it yourself. Um, now, I've already painted my background with the raw sienna before I sketched on the, the outline. Um, you can use a different color in the background, or you can leave it white or whatever, but I really like this. Um, I think the, the blue on top of the raw sienna is really pretty. It's very contrasting. Um, now this is a, an eight by 10 canvas panel, but you could do this on other surfaces like wood, like a wood board or um, watercolor paper or anything like that. Now, if you do it on wood, you can just stand it by itself and you don't have to have a frame. Um, you don't have to have a frame for this actually because it's very rigid and it stands alone so you can prop it against a wall or something like that and and it's rigid enough to stand there. Now, if you did on watercolor paper, of course, you'll have to frame it. Uh, but this frames nicely too. It it fits into an eight by 10 frame or you can uh, get an 11 by 14 frame and put a mat in it. So um, I think that looks nice. Uh, now the paints that I use, I just use just regular craft paint, just cheap craft paint and cheap brushes. So this, this doesn't require a lot of fancy supplies. Just, just use what you have on hand. Now, I don't think I told you that you can also hang these panels, these canvas panels. You can fasten a hook to the back or a string or something and, and just hang them by themselves. So, um, some people do that. Now, when you're painting this cow, keep in mind that you can change the colors if you want, if you if you like different colors for it, or if, if you want it to match your decor or something. Um, but also keep in mind that art doesn't have to match. Sometimes, sometimes it can just be like a pop of color. Um, but just, just whatever you like. This, this is just showing you the technique and how to paint loosely. But um, the colors you use are very much up to you. Um, guys, if y'all are, are liking these videos, um, please let me know, please give them a thumbs up, um, comment if you want to, or, and subscribe to the channel so that if you'll hit that notification bell after you subscribe, then, uh, YouTube will show you my upcoming videos. And if you'll let me know in the comments what you want to see what you want me to paint, what, what you like. Um, that would really help me out a lot because otherwise I just have to guess at it and uh, I may not be guessing right. So if you, if you have a certain something that you want to see, please tell me. Uh, keep in mind that I am um, trying to stick with things that people can use to decorate with. So um, I don't want to do paintings that I'm just going to throw away or stack up somewhere. So like a uh, farmhouse and cottage core, those are popular. So I kind of want to stick with that style. But please let me know if you think of something that you'd like to see. Now this blue that I'm putting on, 
it's a shadow color for the white, so um, it's not that this is a blue cow, although if you want a blue cow, that's fine. But this is a shadow color for the white. And just keep your brush moving, keep it very, very loose. Don't stay in one spot too long. I know I say that a lot, but it's important with this style of painting because when you stay in one spot, you try to perfect that spot and perfection is what we don't want. So I'm putting different shades of blue in for the, for the shadow for the shadow color for the white. And obviously when you're working right around the eyes and things like that, you do have to slow down a little bit. But um, for the most part on this, you're gonna just keep your brush moving, and keep it moving fairly quickly. Now I'm adding in some, a little more warmth and, but like I said, just use, use colors you like and put them where you like. Um, the main thing is keeping like the head separate from the, separated from the body, like in color and contrast so that you can tell what's going on. But and obviously you want your darker colors in the deep, deeper areas and your lighter colors in in the higher areas so so that it makes sense it gives it dimension so you still with this style of painting you still want to keep art rules in mind but <laughs> If it makes any sense, keep them in mind, but don't stick to them always. But, you know, it's still, shadows go in d deeper areas and highlights go in higher areas and that just makes sense. And that's, that's common sense. But other than that, keep it very loose. Uh, keep your brush moving, keep your hand moving all the time, just without giving it too much thought. Just keep it moving. But like I said, right here where I'm working around the eye, you do have to slow down a little bit, but, and use a smaller brush. But, um, but other than that, work fast. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on my highlights, my white. And I'm back to moving fast and keeping it moving, keeping it going. Keep my hand moving, keep my brush moving. Don't cover up all the blue because that blue is there for a reason. It's, it's kind of a shadow color. So it, you don't wanna cover it all up with white and then you'll have just a flat white cowl. This style is so much fun, guys. I hope you try it. Um, if you do, I know you'll want to try more because it's just so freeing and um, so fun and easy. And I hope you guys enjoyed this and give it a try. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you, and I hope you tune in next time.